Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. You are now plugged in to Going Hard for Jesus with Tabisha Dom Unique. It's early morning, late night for some. This is around the time the devil be busy. And since I don't be in the streets no more, glory be to God. If I can't sleep, then it's time to pray. Somebody need to hear this message. Today's topic is lying. How many people out there are lying to their self right now in regards to how they feel? In regards to the fact that they really don't have a problem. They only get high sometimes. They only drink on the weekend. I had a sister. Well, I knew a sister. Um, She used to like those ecstasy pills. And she went to church all during the week. But on Friday... She was looking for them e-pills. So then I figured out that the reason why it was so important for her to get those pills are because when you get high, you have an excuse for doing what you really want to do. You can follow that lust spirit. You can turn up. You can be slutty and crazy. And then say, oh, man, that ain't even me. I was high. Being high, drunk, or caught up in any other type of mental stimulant, even food is addictive. To give you an excuse not to do the right thing. That's a lie. Exodus twenty sixteen tells us, You should not give false testimony against your neighbor. Gossip. Lying. A lot of people lie just for conversation. That's a demonic spirit. Don't you want to live carefree? It feels so good when you can go about your day and you don't have to lie. Some people are so immune to lying that they don't even think about it no more. They just lie. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices. That's coming out of Colossians 3, 9. I was lying to myself. I felt like I didn't have a problem when I was in the world. But the only problem was, if I wasn't getting high, it was a problem. So that was a lie. A lot of us, I hid behind my um, boyfriend at the time, my friends, my drugs. That was a shield for me. Because it was easier to be caught up in the world and gossip and be captivated by their events. So then I wouldn't have to face mine. So a lot of us have this shield over us. And we live in a lie. There's somebody out here right now that may be listening to this podcast that's living a lie. They either tired of getting high, don't want to be with the crowd they with, They got an extra attitude about themselves trying to blend. 
That's another major problem that the world has. It's a lot of good people out here trying to blend with things that don't fit. Psalms 58 verse 3 tells us, Even from birth the wicked go astray from the womb. They are wayward and speak lies. Going hard for Jesus, it fits me. It really fits me. Now, it may not fit everybody, but it fits me. A lot of us are out here portraying an image that just don't fit. Some people that's in the wilderness, they don't want to leave. Period. They've already put on that mask. That is them. That's where they want to be. But it's a lot of y'all out there that don't know. That's not what it has to be. You don't have to be stuck. It's a difficult task to start something new. Especially when you don't have an outlet, a way out. You never heard of a way out. You never thought about a way out. Maybe by chance you glimpsed at it a little bit. But you just didn't see an opening. There was no light. Well, I'm here to shed some light on the situation. See, the reason why I was so bold to take on life challenges after the Lord delivered me from the wilderness is I looked at everything like I can do this. I was in the world taking some of the most dangerous drugs in the world. Some people then died over it. There's no way I can't conquer this. And now I have God on my side. Oh, I'm going to handle this. I have to go hard for Jesus and share this message with you because I was a gambler. That's gone. I got money in the bank. Lotto still sending me coupons. I was a pretty good gambler, too. But it took away from my family. It took away from me. I got carried away. It's not what God wanted for me. I've been smoking weed since I was about 12. And now it's legal. I adjusted my whole life around it. I went to jail. One blunt cost me like $5,000 going to jail. One blunt. I quit for a year and with them went back. Now, like I said on a couple of other podcasts, a lot of people feel like it's legal. Okay, alcohol is legal too. And you still got alcoholics sitting up under the bridge. Don't let legal have you captivated to where... You come up short on what God has for you. Because that's not the plan. As long as you're mesmerized, you're stuck. As long as you're stuck, then you're a slave. You just go to work. You come home, you tired, we'd have you tired, you might party, you might have a drink, it's not a whole bunch of activity, and the only other activity you're involved in is with people that do other things. I heard about weed being an outlet drug, I never 
gave into that because I knew that I wasn't open for anything else for many, 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 many years. It didn't matter what people said. I was not open for anything else. I lost family members. I was not open for anything else. Well, centuries later, we find out that was a lie. Proverbs 22, Proverbs 12, verse 22 tells us, The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in men who are truthful. You look around, even with the smoke screen that's going on around you, you have to realize that there is a higher power. There's no way, unless you're high, that you've never felt the presence of God anywhere that you can protest against the fact that there is a higher power. And his name is Jesus. I logged on at four to let you know it's not cool to keep lying to yourself. You got to be bold. You got to be strong. You got to be smart. Especially if you got kids. Because if it's not cool for them, it's not cool for you. Even if you say, I don't do it around them, they never see me do this or that, kids know their parents. They know their parents. My kids didn't know exactly what was going on, but they knew something was going on. And because you're high, you're lying to yourself because you have to put on an image it's something deeper going on that you don't want to face. I know plenty of successful, fun people that don't have to be high, and they save money. And the people that they hang around are not high. See, when you indulge in certain activities, of course, you can only be with a certain group. That may be limited. Now, not to say it's not any high up people getting high. But how high up are you or are you just high? Because unfortunately, that just means that the higher you are, the harder to fall. If you're at your lowest point right now, you didn't got down low, then this message is for you. So that you don't have to keep lying to yourself, putting on airs to be somebody that you're not. Television, Internet, movies, everything has you mesmerized to the point where you feel like you need a certain image. You need an a entourage. That's not necessarily true. A lot of people so scared of being alone, they rather live a lie. And stay high than to find the happiness that God has for them. Psalms 34, 13. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Every day. <laughs> 